Good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back, welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. A quick video for you right now surrounding some more reggae boys transfer activity. Seeing the first player we're talking about on screen is this ball on your screen, ladies and gentlemen, O'Neill Fisher. I had published a video earlier today, a couple hours ago, labeling this player a free agent and you know just talking a bit about his free agency because i had not covered it previously seeing when i recorded that video i recorded it yesterday i recorded that video yesterday and i uploaded it yesterday i published the video today now when i recorded that video and uploaded it o'neill fisher was a free agent when i published the video the club o'neill fisher's new club had announced on their website about an hour before i published the video that o'neill fisher had signed for their club and i missed it big up to the subscribers who pointed it out to me in the comment section that o'neill fisher had just literally signed for a new club yes ladies and gentlemen O'Neill Fisher has found a new home, Detroit City FC. So he's going to the USA, ladies and gentlemen. And in the video, I was saying that O'Neill Fisher might have to make a step down to the USA because I, I was surprised when he got the move to Minnesota United, but I didn't see him getting another shot at the MLS. So said, so done. He has indeed found a club in the usl the club is on your screen there detroit city fc and as the name suggests it is a club that is representing the city of detroit a relatively new mls you may talk foolish about mls a relatively new um usl expansion team seeing a relatively new usl expansion team um they would have made their debut in the usl last season and uh, yeah he's going there so congratulations to o'neill fisher for signing with detroit city fc right again a relatively new M um, usl expansion club in the usl championship see um last season in the mls o'neill fisher would have made 11 appearances in the mls right one in the playoffs and he made four appearances in the mls next pro um this contract at detroit city fc is a two-year contract so it's it's one year guaranteed 2023 guaranteed and an option for 2024 seeing so you know that's the case or uh, that is the situation surrounding reggae boy right back o'neill fisher seeing so congratulations to the baller right and i am happy that he has you know gotten a new club earlier in my video earlier today i said that i said that o'neill fisher is a little better than is a little better player than people Give him credit for in terms of his abilities a little bit better than what people give him credit for people but now i say man a star in a people but just as say people oftentimes label him as the worst footballer that has ever represented jamaica people not like o'neill fisher them not rate the baller i'm just saying the baller is a little bit better than people give him credit for but he does have his he does have his things that he could improve on for sure his positional play right he will only fish as the type of player that will have a, a good game and in the 98 minute just do one big mistake cost you a goal and all of a sudden everybody just have bad things to say about his performance he's that type of a player even if him have a good game he will just have one moment of madness and dash for the game that is another thing he needs to work on he, he does from time to time have an error in him that can cause serious problems. His passing as well is something that I think 
can improve and needs to be far more consistent. It can be poor at times, but a better player than what I think people give him credit for. Don't beat the people. Don't beat the scene. But he does have his areas that he needs to work on. I don't think he's the worst reggae boy that I've ever seen represent the reggae boys as what some people seem to think. So big up O'Neill Fisher and congrats to him. Up next, we're talking Adrian Mariapa. This is a transfer that I did not speak on either. Adrian Mariapa is or has gone to Salford City. It was announced a couple of days ago. And Salford City is in the English League 2, which is the English fourth tier. Now, Salford City are currently sixth in the English League 2, in the English fourth tier. They are in a playoff spot, the last playoff spot is seventh place so you know hopefully they can you know make it to the playoffs and hopefully make it to league one and his deal also runs until the end of the season so he's there till the end of the season but hopefully he can impress enough that he can either continue with them for next season or he can you know, impress enough to find another club for next season. So he's a very short-term deal. Um, the club raved about his experience. That seemed to have been a big deal for them when they brought him he in. They raved about his experience. And the same for O'Neill Fisher as well. Detroit City FC raved about his experience when they brought him in. Seeing maps this season so far has... Uh, started in most of the games that he has been available for Burton. So for those who don't know, earlier in the season, he was at Burton before being released in January, if memory serves right. Well, he wasn't released. The deal ended in January. Seen, and it's he signed for them in October after he came, after his stint in Australia ended. And most of the, the games that he was available for Burton Albion, he did feature for them in League One. Right, he started in most of them, so he was in the squad 11 times and he started eight times for Burton Albion. So, you know, he has now found a new home at Salford City. So, hopefully, you know, he can impress in his short stint there. So, congratulations to Maps as well. And finally, we're talking young Justin McMaster. Now, this is a little bit of stale news, but in the interest of covering all the transfer related activity just wanted to let you guys know that justin mcmaster is a free agent this one i missed as well you know this i missed um because i did a a transfer roundup probably about a month and a half ago or something like that when i spoke about all the winter transfer moves by reggae boys and i included free agents in it this player i you know his free agency missed me so just letting you guys know that Justin McMaster is a free agent and he is looking for a club. Thanks, Brian, for, you know, throwing his name in the mix in the comment section as well. And thanks for making me know about the, 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 the Dean Kelly mistake. Because honestly, I never realized I missed Dean Scarlett in a video until you pointed it out to me now after I had published it. So big up. Seeing, so hopefully Justin McMaster can find a new home. La, in last season's North American football, he made 17 MLS Next Pro appearances, scored five goals and three assists. He was signed to Minnesota United. That deal ended since now he's a free agent. And overall for Minnesota United, he made seven MLS appearances and had one assist in his second run out for Minnesota United. I watched that game and he had a very good game. I'm shocked that his time at Minnesota United disintegrated in the manner it did. I had high hopes for him because, you know, I watched a good amount of his MLS appearances and especially the ones where he, like his debut and the second game where he had the assist, he played well. He played well. So I don't know what happened. He got injured as well. He had a, he had a major injury, if memory serves me right. I stand corrected, but if memory serves me right, he had a major injury that might have had something to do with him falling out of favor at Minnesota United. So we wish the young ball all the best. Remember, Justin McMaster scored on his senior debut against Cameroon down in Cameroon 
so and that was late last year so you know big up to justin mcmaster hopefully he finds a new club soon and very soon knock up the like button subscribe and share ladies and gentlemen take care stay safe and until next time